Chemetrics, we'll be continuing with question four, um, the mechanical assembly of 2023's past paper. Obviously, you know, in the last video, part one, I did this view here. We are now moving on to the second view over here. Okay, so starting off, we're just going to grab these lines over here and bring them down. So we're going to have a line here. And then we will follow that line by a line here and a line here. Okay. Which will give us, so I measured 10 millimeters apart these lines, just in case you were wondering. Okay, there we go. Perfect. So We are now going to continue drawing. So we're going to start by getting in this first part here, which is the, um, not the coupling, the bracket. And obviously we know that this is going to be a sectional, sectional front view. So we are going to be sectioning this view. So we've obviously got our measurements for the bracket on this page already. So I'm going to just bring these across. I would advise if you once the measurements to watch part one because I'm not going to obviously do it again because it's easier with me having it here already. Okay, so we've got those lines across. We're going to follow it by these lines up here and down here. And then we will have that followed by these teeny weeny lines here. So we should have something that looks like this so far. I do hope this is all going to fit on the page. Otherwise, that's not going to be very good for me. Um, okay, so now let's just see if that slides into there. It should all fit by the looks of things. Because that's diameter 40, 25, 50. I'm just checking that it all fits before I make you guys draw something. And then it doesn't fit. 39, which is 134, 134, and then we'll obviously have this past there, it should all fit, okay, so we've obviously got the bracket that we now need to draw in, so you can obviously see that we have got this line here, which is a diameter of 20, so we're going to measure 20, On that line and then we're going to make a little line going up just like this over here okay there we obviously have a radius of 15 going up at this point here and then we obviously have our next point which is a diamond 30 so what we're going to do is we're going to grab the middle measurements which we obviously know will be halfway so it will be 20 divided by 2 which will give us 10 so if you want you could draw your little center line like that and then obviously we know the hole has got a measurement of 10 now remember we are sectioning it so it is important to grab all the necessary measurements so that we obviously can draw everything neatly so we've got this so far i know it doesn't look like much but it will obviously turn into something once we're done so from the center line to the next center line there's a measurement of 40 so we're going to take a line we're going to measure 40 and we're going to have a center line a little dash a center line a little dash a center line just like that over there okay then we are obviously going to have the next thickness which is a thickness of 30 over there and then we are going to just quickly draw those lines in like that. Okay, so we know this 30 point here is going to end right at this point here. So we can make that line solid. Then we've got a diameter of 10 again. So we're going to measure 5 and 5. 5 and 5, which obviously will cut straight through. So you're going to just draw a line going straight there and straight there okay and then you're not going to draw okay we'll get to that don't worry about that 
then you're going to have this line which will go down and then where there's the 10 line it's going to go through so it'll stop there and there okay then we obviously have our front of it which will be split over here we'll obviously have our center which will be over here and over here and then we'll obviously have this line as a solid line because we obviously go and cut through ribs or webs and then we are going to have to draw in oops that was a bit too far forward so let's just fix that quickly we obviously have this ending here and this ending here okay so that's what we have so far we obviously need to get this line in here obviously attaching to these sides they give us a radius of 15 so what we're going to do is we're going to take our compass with the radius of 15 and then we're going to draw a little arc at this point here okay which is proving to be a little bit tricky so we've got an arc over there followed by an arc over here right once we've got that we can draw our web in now my compass leads a lot lighter so i have to work really hard to get it to be sort of a similar line weight so make sure yours is not and then once we've done that we're just going to repeat it so there's our bow followed by our other bow and then we are going to draw these lines here okay Hopefully you saw that. So again, I'm just going to point. You're going to take your compass at this point and at this point you're going to make bows where the bows intersect is where you're going to make your little arc. Okay, once you've done that, we can obviously cut everything off. So looking at our image here, we know that the bolt will go through this hole, but nothing is going to go through this hole, which means that we can cap it off just like this over here and just like this over here okay you can see my line here is not quite intersecting or touching so make sure yours does not have that problem and then the next lines we're going to close off will be these ones here obviously leaving a gap in the middle because we know the bolt will be going through there and we obviously don't want to um, have to erase that out okay before we carry on, I'm going to quickly hatch this. I don't want to do it on camera because I do not want to waste time. So we're going to do that and then carry on. Okay, now that we've got that part, we're going to move on to the next part, which will be the coupling over here. So again, we're going to start off by taking the lines we already have across, which will include this line here, this top line over here, this line over here and this line over here okay so we've got those lines to start and now what we can do is we can slot everything together so we know that this here is going to slide straight in here the bolt bits obviously going to have to line up i mentioned that so that when you look at this drawing you know how to line it up so we're going to start off by grabbing this measurement, which has a thickness at this point of 10, a diameter of 10, which we obviously know is the same as this here. And then we've got from there a measurement of 30. And I just mentioned it so that obviously, if you're not 100% sure how to line things up, you now know. So we're just going to draw that line there like that. Okay. Then we obviously know this will be touching right at the line here. So we're going to measure 30 down from that line. Okay, 30, which will obviously be the line we've taken across, which is perfect for us. And then we've obviously got from there a diameter of 30. So if you want to, you can extend your center line. Mine is not all the way down that's why i'll be doing that quickly okay so from here we're going to measure 30 so we've got 15 and 15 which will give us a total of 30 and then 
you can see that it will slightly go it will line up with this here and then if you look at the total length which is 40 it will slightly go over the web so we've got 20 20 it's obviously reached 40 now you can see it slightly like goes over the web and we're going to do the same on the other side and then i need to bring those lines up just to make things a lot easier okay so so far we've got something that looks like this over here then we can from the edge because you can see that at the edge here we've got more detail to add in so this will be 40 plus 25 so obviously we know we've got 40 over here so we're going to measure 25 up to this point here and we're going to pull that down so we've got this measurement and then we're going to measure 30 and 39 so 30 and then 39 just just on the edge over here and then we're just going to add those lines in quickly it's always confusing at first with so many lines because it's very difficult to picture what's happening which is why i always like to draw in things part by part and draw them in as quickly as i can just so that it makes things easier um so let's get continuing so we're going to start with obviously the holes that we are very obviously going to see starting with the top we've got a length of five so we're going to measure five we're going to put a line in we're going to draw a line and then if you have a look you'll see that that hole here which is going to be a measurement of 20 so again, we're going to measure 10 and 10 from this hole will touch right up to the end over here. Then where our 30 and 30 lines are, which I did not use yet. So we're going to just bring those up. We're going to start seeing the place where the bush should lie. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly draw in that part just so we can get the bush in. So we know that the bush slides right in you won't see it obviously you can tell that by just looking at the left view so we're going to draw that in and then we're going to draw this in over here okay we're also going to draw the edges which will go straight down to this 10 line so it will stop here and it will stop right over here as well okay and then The rest will extend by a length of 60. Is that correct? What am I doing? Okay, that's 40. Okay, I see why I'm getting confused because I'm looking here, I'm not here. Okay, the 40 line will go all the way down. That is why I'm getting confused. I swear I'm just having such a long moment today. This one stays here. So that line's supposed to end by the table. Okay, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, this line here will be solid, obviously. And this line will be very much the same in that it ends at the 10 point there. Now we're going to quickly draw in the rest of the lines for the bush so that we can get that in. So we're going to draw that down there, that down there, and then we'll obviously have the bush ending right here. Okay, so you can actually see that I've drawn the bush in without even looking at the bush, just because I know it's got to fit in here and that the uh, bolt is going to fit in here. So technically this is your bush already done. So now we're going to hatch this. And I'm going to, once again, do that off camera quickly. Okay, if you have a look, you're going to see this is not hatched um, evenly. So make sure yours is even. 
obviously i'm just not going to do it completely properly i just want you guys to understand the work that we're doing okay so now that we've got this in we can start looking at the bottom here so again we know that's going to be a thickness of five so we're going to measure five okay which will be ending at this point here Just having a look here, sorry guys, so here I measured 8, um, obviously because the length here is 8, but it's going to sit inside this over here, which I did not realize while I was drawing this to you, so just make sure that you bring this down by 5 mils, so there should only be about 3 mils sticking out. Just correct that if you've done it the way I've done it, sorry about that. Um, obviously it's too late to change it now, but just so that you guys know how it should be drawn. Okay. Okay, let's carry on. So now that we've got that point in there, we can obviously draw in the rest of the sides that we know can be drawn in. So for instance, we can draw this side in here, this side here, and then from the bottom here, I'm going to draw in the side here, here, and then here and here. Actually, what am I doing? Okay, guys, let me just explain this again because I see it seems like my brain is not working today. Okay, the washer has two moles, which will obviously be in your first. So if this is five moles, that means three moles of the um nut will be inside so this is actually five mils of the nut sticking out so my apologies okay so just let this be a lesson before your exam that you must make sure to check everything okay but seeing as the washer is going to go in here we're going to draw it in it's obviously going to lay flat right against this edge here so we're going to draw that in which has got a diameter of 20 so we're going to measure 10 and 10 and it has a height of two, so we're going to just draw in our height of two. Okay, just like this, and then we can obviously draw in the bolt now which will obviously go through these lines okay so now we obviously want to draw the bolt in we are going to be doing two faces of the um, m10 nut so we're going to draw that in quickly so let's just make these lines solid here because we know these will stay solid you obviously will not see the part of the bolt that's covered by the washer you will however see the rest of it that goes all the way through Okay, so we're going to start off with the top of the bolt. So we're going to draw that. Then we've been given the measurement 16 across flats. We obviously need two sides, so we're going to measure 8 and 8. 8, and then we'll have 8 as well. There. And then... We're going to measure our two sides so we're going to take our compass and draw in so over here then we're going to have obviously our flat bits on the edge here just like you can see with the circle here and then we're obviously going to have our 60 degrees on the edges here. So that will be, that's 30 degrees. It's supposed to be 30 degrees, sorry. It'll be 30 degrees. And then we'll obviously have 
40 degrees this side as well. Okay. And then I'm just going to draw this solid so that you can obviously see what we have. So you should have this so far. Okay, now we're obviously going to measure eight as is the measurement here. So from here, we're going to measure eight. You can see the difference in length size now. And now we're going to bring our sizes across or our lengths across. We're going to bring that across. This one here, you can see I've made it solid. And the one in the middle over here. Okay, obviously we want to draw in the little circular bits. So what we're going to do is from here you're going to take 60 degree line, 60 degree line, 60 degree line, and a 60 degree line. I will draw it in marker for you as well just so that you can see if you can't see on this paper okay there you go so it should look like this all right and then from there you're going to do your circle you can see mine is a little bit light but you're going to draw in your little semicircle there you go and then you're going to draw a straight line going through it okay there we go we've got the top of the bolt already now we obviously want to get the rest of the bolt in so we know it's got a length of 65 and 30 that'll be 95 in total we're obviously going to measure just above the washer and then so where the washer starts basically so we're going to stop at 95 so you'll see it just stops inside the bush area so it'll stop here okay so now that we've got that in we're going to draw the rest of our bolt so obviously we've got a length of 65 so from here we're going to measure 65, okay, then we're going to take 10, because obviously it's an M10 bolt, so we're going to say 10 times 0 0.1, which will give us 1, so that means our thread is going to have a thickness of 1, so we're going to have 1, 1, and draw that in over there, let's draw it solid. That will be solid. That will be solid. We'll obviously have this line skew. Mine skew, yours shouldn't be. Okay. And a thickness of one at the back here. Okay. And then you'll obviously have your 45 degree lines in those corners. Like this, make sure yours is evenly done. Make sure you did not draw that line too solid. It's not supposed to be solid there. Okay, I'm just going to keep super hand, which you should never do. Okay, just so that you get the idea that's your bolt done. Okay, we're obviously going to carry on with the coupling now so we know that we've got the bit that sticks out by 25 so to make things easier we're going to draw that in just like this over here and then we also know that inside here we've got a radius of 10 so 
that will be 15 from this measurement tab. So we're going to draw a 15 line. And then obviously from this point, we're going to measure 10 and 10. So you can measure 10 going up, which we would line up with this here. And then obviously we will measure 10 and then 10 as well. Okay, bring those lines across so that you should have little squares that you will obviously be working with. Okay, and then from there we will do our little bows. So it'll be like this. And then we'll obviously have the same on the side here. Okay. Obviously make sure you do take the right measurement first. Otherwise it's going to look funny like mine currently does. And then we're going to just finish up the bits and pieces with this point here. Okay, so you should have something that looks like this so far. Okay, we've obviously then got this bit here. So we're obviously going to draw that in. So we have obviously know that that's got a length of 30. So from that 30 line, we've already drawn it in. So now we have to figure out where it starts. So here we've got M20, so we know we can measure 10, 10 on either side, 10 and 10, and the base is 36, so that will be 18, so from here we'll measure 18, so that's 10, that will be 18, and then on the other side we'll measure 10, 18, okay, and then we'll obviously have our part going in like this okay obviously we also know that it's acting as a thread as well you can obviously see that based on this over here so when we cut it we are going to have sort of a line like that okay Alrighty, now we obviously want to get our key in. So if we have a look here, we can see that the key will stick out by two. So we can make that line. So we're going to measure two and two. And it is also going to be inside by so we're going to measure 15 first so that we can obviously get that center point so that'll be here where that line is and then we'll obviously have six and six on either side of this so how big is the key let me just have a look see yeah six and six on either side so we'll have six 12 and then from there we're going to draw it in so you're going to grab your compass and then you're going to have the compass obviously follow that point but i'm going to just use my circle template because it's driving me a little bit crazy that i can't draw these small circles so we're going to draw that in like that all right then obviously we know it sticks out by two obviously that's what was indicated by that measurement there. And so we're going to draw that in. Okay, and then another thing, this line should not be in the middle of the key. Okay. 
Okay. Here, obviously, we know we have to draw lines around it because we need to show the section. I am going to just quickly section it by hand. Do not do this. I'm just doing it so we go quicker and obviously so that you can get the idea without having to sit through full hatching. So do not hatch it by hand. Please always use your ruler. Always use 45 degrees and always use equal spacing as well. Okay, so now we've got this here. Right, we obviously want to get the rest of our thread because we're obviously going to use it when we add the rest of our things on. But I'm just having a look here and I think it would make sense if we do the pulley first or pull on. Okay, so I'm just going to draw these lines solid. I'm going to quickly hatch this off of camera and then we're going to continue. Okay, so obviously we know this is where this part ends, so we're just going to draw a little um, solid line over there, and then we're going to just draw a straight line going through as a construction line, just so we know where thread ends. Okay, all right, so now that you... Ooh, now that you've got this here, we're obviously going to draw in the blondie. So we've got obviously from the start of this point, 25 and 15, which in total will give us 40. So from here, we're going to measure 40. Here. And then we're going to draw that line over there. Okay. So because we are cutting it, we know that we are going to not really see all of these lines here. However, we are going to see the heights, so we do need to get all of those in. So we can start by grabbing the height of this here, which will be here. And here. Okay. And then we can see we've got different thicknesses between everything. So this is obviously 5, this is obviously 15, which gives us 20, which means we'll have 10 and 10 on either side. Okay, so 10, 20, and 10. So we'll just need this 10 line here. Okay, now we're going to draw in our heights quickly. We've got this height of this first one here, which is 66. So that will give us 30, 33. So we're going to start off in the middle, which is here. Okay, we've got 33 and 66. And then I'm just going to bring those measurements across and make them solid. At the points that they're supposed to be solid at. It's supposed to line up here. I don't know why I'm I don't know what's wrong with me today. <laughs> okay. Seems to me like I've got anxiety and yeah, I'm not even the one writing today. Okay. There we go. It's supposed to be like that. All right, now we've got the long one, which we've obviously got the height for, and we know it has got a thickness of 15. So we're just going to find that height and measure 15, and then draw a line all the way down, and then we can obviously add our sides in like that. Okay, then we've obviously got it that it will stop at the same point as the other side and then we can just make that solid and make this solid here okay and then we've obviously got the point five which will be a straight line here as well as a straight line here and then we want to get the line um, length for this line here which is 46 so that will give us 23 so we've got 23 here 
and 46 yeah and then we're just going to bring those lines across neatly like this here and here Three forty-six. Okay. Why does mine look so uneven? Okay. What did I say? I said forty-six, twenty-three, twenty-three on either side. So that's 23 that went there, that's 46 going there. So it should be correct unless I've mismeasured here and this is higher than it's supposed to be. But it doesn't look like it, so I'm going to just carry on. Maybe it's correct, maybe I'm just seeing things wrong. Although to me, this is a lot longer than this here or this is a lot shorter than this so it should not be that way okay let me just try and figure out what's going on here okay my center line was incorrectly done from this part here everything from here is correct so i'm going to quickly change that and then we'll continue okay so <laughs> let this be a lesson once again to check your stuff i've obviously fixed it Everything else we have done is essentially correct. Obviously, my center line is just wrong. So you will still be able to draw it correctly using the way I taught it to you. Just make sure you've got the right center line. Okay, so carrying on. We've got our pulley now in. Now that all the measurements are correct, um, we're obviously now going to draw in everything. So before we hatch our pulley, it's important to note that we have a seal that fits inside the pulley over here. So that has a height of 30 so we're going to measure 15 and 30 once again make sure that you have the right center line because i managed to mess that up okay so you should have that then you can obviously draw this line in completely solid obviously not here with our um shaft lines but you can do these lines here solid okay now with the seal we always have it colored in solid so this will be completely shaded on both ends obviously make sure your shading is done neatly as well so i'm just going to color this in And then you can do the same with the top one as well. Okay. Just like this over here. Obviously, we're going to hatch then the, um, I keep calling it a pulley even though it's not, but you know what I mean. We're going to hatch this now and then we're going to continue. Okay, there we go, hatched. And then we're obviously going to move on to the next bit. So the first one will be the washer, which has a length of 40. So we're going to measure 20 and 20 on either side. So here we've got here here we've got 40 and then we can draw those lines at this point here and then obviously we've got a thickness of three so we can take the thickness and we can draw in our washer And then we should have is what looks like this over here. Okay, and then we're going to move on to 
the M20 nut, which I don't have much space to draw the auxiliary view here. So what I'm going to do is draw a channel and bring my points up. So let's just put that out of there. So we've got M20, so I'm going to just start off with a line here, just so that I get the right measurements. Okay, then we've got M20, so I'm going to take the line to 10 and pull that in over there. And then, obviously, you're going to draw the nuts in. Then we've got this view here. Okay. okay. So once I've got all of those bits, I'm going to just bring these lines forward because I know that the three sides of the M20 nut need to be shown. Yeah. which will give a total length of 24 so we'll make it 12 12 on either side so little lines that will be 12 and 24 okay obviously bring these forward that then we've got the thickness which is 16 so i'll have that over there just like this again just doing a lighter line and then we're obviously going to get the length of these sides here which is six so six and six okay and then I'm just going to bring those lines up to be solid lines. Okay, just like this over here. And then we've got To obviously put our lines in here so we're going to measure 30 degrees and then obviously at this point here we'll have a small 30 degrees 30 degrees and 30 degrees okay once we have got that we will draw in our arc Why do I feel like I've drawn this wrong? Oh my gosh, I am a mess today. <laughs> Let me check this out once again. Okay. Oh, it's because I am being such a clown today. Okay, obviously with them 20 nuts, so the radius is not 10, it's 1.5 times 20, which gives us 30. Okay, so the radius is 15. So following the same steps as previously, I'm just going to redraw the nut length over here. My apologies, guys. I don't know why I am acting like such a clown today. So I'm going to just quickly draw this off camera and then obviously draw it here. It will say follow the same sort of steps. Just don't um, do what I'm doing. I don't know why I'm so scatterbrained. Okay, now that we've got that in properly, 
you are going to draw your lines in neatly. Okay, so we're going to draw a line here, right at the top, just like this over here. Okay, this should line up there. Okay, like this, and then obviously we want to get the last bit of the shaft in, so that ends over here. Now we know that we are going to take the thickness of the shaft, which is in 20. So we're going to say 0 0.1 times 20, which will give us 2. And so we're going to do our measurements for the shaft. So we do 2, 2, That one we can make solid. Okay. This one we can make solid and it's going to go through all the way here. But do a light little construction line for now. This will go here. Again, light little construction line where the seal is. And you will have 45 degree line. 45 degree line. Okay, and then I've mismeasured again, so that's not great. Make sure you measure properly. And then, obviously, on the inside here, we are going to have a 34 mark. So here we've got 34, which ends at this point here. So we're going to have a solid line. At this point here, we can obviously make these lines solid then, and then from there we'll have a 30 degree line. Okay, and then your finished drawing should look like this. Now, my apologies once again just for not really being all together today. But I do hope that this helped you regardless. So good luck for your guys' exam.